Hey you guys, what's up? <sighs> so, me coming to you guys right now, I wanted to film this video more, um, I don't know, not like so staged. I wanted to be more vlog style, really, where I'm like sitting and chilling and talking to you guys. And not so much like this right now. But because I am filming a video after this one where I change my clothes and all that stuff, come out of my jacket and everything, um, I figured why not do this now, Ursley? As you can tell from the title of the video, I'm pregnant. Yeah. We're excited, everyone's excited. Um, for those who don't know, this is my first kid. I've never had a kid before. I do have my younger sister. She is just like my baby. I've had her when she was a baby and when our mom passed, I had her. She was she was and is my baby. I've had her when I, my mom had her when I was 19 years old. I was in college. So yeah, like, I think this would really took me so long to like be like, I should probably not have a kid right now because um, I remember having her and she was like joined to my hip. So she is my pride and joy. So I want this to be um, fairly quick just because I know what I want to say. I've been trying to say it for a long time. So I have a few things that, firstly, I, I want to say that we're so excited that we're having a baby and um, that we're super grateful and that we're not taking that me personally, I'm not taking any of this for granted. I know that some people can't have kids. I know that some people are trying the hardest and I know that a lot of people are going through a lot of stuff. I have a few flashbacks of me filming this video. I'm currently in my second trimester right now. So flashback to my first trimester, I was paranoid. I think basically from I found out that I was pregnant, I've been paranoid. Just because if you've had a miscarriage before, you're truly like one of the most paranoid people in the entire world. So I was, I was, um, I was paranoid for a very long time. Um, I had a miscarriage a few years back. So my whole experience with pregnancy, it was just like, what, like I could lose this baby at any moment. With that being said, I don't want to hit you guys with the heavy. I want to let's get started. I want to tell you guys a little bit of a story time first, okay? So the month before I got pregnant, I I thought I was pregnant. I was telling my boyfriend, I was like, um, I think that I'm pregnant. I had missed my period. I've never, I have a tracker. I have Flo, the Flow app. And even before that, I've never ever missed a period. Right on the day, whatever it says, I've had my period. Uh, the month before, which I want to say was February, I missed my period, which is the craziest thing. And I missed my period for about four days, which is the weirdest thing I've ever experienced. I had sore boobs, all of the signs of pregnancy. So we were like preparing for pregnancy, you guys. And um, so I took a test basically every single day, sometimes twice a day. This is the scariest thing because something like that is so expensive <laughs> like testing while you're not pregnant is is super expensive because every day i felt more and more pregnant when i actually wasn't <laughs> it's the craziest thing so come to find out i was not pregnant i had my period for a little bit for a little while i was like because i had already wrapped my mind around it so i was a little sad i'm not gonna lie to you and then I remember talking to my boyfriend. I was like, you know, I think I want to have a baby, blah, blah, blah. And we decided, you know, we came to all the facts and we were like, well, maybe let's just wait a few more months. And um, by the end of the year, we're, you know, start, like start it, not really like go ahead. And I was just like, great. Could, because I didn't want to rush into it anything. I didn't want to rush into anything. Um, I was already moving here in Texas. It was a lot going on with the whole move and everything. So I didn't want to do all that while being pregnant. And we just had a bunch of stuff that was going on. So we couldn't really get pregnant right away. Turn over to the next month, right? Which is March. Okay. So um, 
We went to Chicago for a trip. We had planned a trip and everything like that. Me and my boyfriend and my sister, it was great, great time, right? I came back, had a doctor's appointment, come to find out I wasn't pregnant. I was like, great, I knew that I wasn't pregnant. We wasn't trying to get pregnant, so I was like, great. I wanna say a week and a half after the doctor's appointment, I, like I was supposed to get my period. And I didn't, which was again weird for me, but this time, I didn't panic. I didn't because I knew that I just went to the doctor. One, two. I know the same thing happened last month. And then two days it went by, three days, and my boobs started to get sore. So I knew that, okay, something's about to start happening. I remember on, that was, I want to say March 1st, I got, I started to cramp like so bad. On the 3rd, I got the same cramps again because I thought my period was coming. I took painkillers, everything. And I was just like, okay, what's going on? Are you coming? Is my period coming? I didn't want to waste any more money on tests, so I didn't even test myself. Okay, great. So I took more painkillers again. Again, my period did not come. So I want to say my uncle's birthday was on the 7th. This is why this is so significant, and I remember it perfectly. So on the 7th, um, I was just like, let me celebrate my uncle's birthday, and if by tomorrow I don't have my period, then I will just take just one test. This is how it always starts. Don't ever do that. <laughs> if you're like, just wait the whole week, which is what I didn't do, wait the whole week. I think it was like, maybe like, I was really close, like six days in. So wait the whole week before you take a test, before you start testing, because it can get very expensive. We, I celebrated my uncle, it was everything. And then the next day, for some reason, I needed to go to U, um, UPS. And then I also needed to go to Publix. So I went to UB, UPS first, because it was on the way, it was on the way and it was before Publix. So I went to UPS first, and then I went to Publix. Purchased what I needed, and I also t bought a test, right? Tell me why I tested myself in Publix bathroom, in their bathroom, because when I was testing myself last month, I had the whole camera and everything, and everything was set up, and I had it just like how everyone have it on like on their social media and whatnot. Everything's just like supposed to be like, oh my god, I'm so surprised. And for me, I just felt like I'm not pregnant. I'm just doing this because I'm doing it, just to get it out of the way, get my mind out of the way. All right, took the test, like boom. I wanna say not even three minutes because that's how it's, how long it's supposed to take. Like a minute in, it was like boom, you're pregnant. I was like, what the fuck? So I was four weeks and one day pregnant when I found out that, um, that I was pregnant. And that's when like a whole shit show started because for the first two weeks, I didn't have as much symptoms. Like. Um, week four and week five, I didn't have any symptoms like at all. And I think that's when I started to get really paranoid because that's what happened to me the last time when I had my miscarriage. I didn't have any symptoms of pregnancy, even though I was almost up to like eight weeks and I still didn't have any symptoms at all. So that sort of like freaks me out. The only symptom I had during my entire pregnancy was sore boobs. And I remember at week five, I didn't have sore boobs anymore. And that sort of freaked me out as well. Like that was the only symptom I had. So I remember thinking, well, my sore boobs are gone. And up to today, my boobs will be like sore and then not sore. I don't panic about it anymore. But um, then I would be, like, like I told you guys, I was so paranoid to the point where I would sit down, just sit down like in the bathroom or while I'm showering and just cry. It was crazy for me because I really, really didn't want to have a miscarriage again. Um, especially because I feel like, I feel like the person that I'm with, I feel like this is meant to be for us and this is our time. And I just feel like all of that, I've already pictured my life with us and our family and everything. So I'm like, in my mind, I feel like I'm ruining my family. Does that make sense? So, that's the first time I've ever said that out loud. <laughs> I don't know why I said that out loud. Anyway, um, I'm not sure I'm gonna keep that in. 
just because that's 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 deep for me but yeah I feel like that <laughs> and um, that's why I was just I'm still like really paranoid so literally two weeks after um, I started to get nauseous like really nauseous like throughout the throughout week five i feel like a little nauseous in a day and then not feel nauseous listen from six weeks day one i have been nauseous every single day up until week 14. so seven eight nine ten eleven so for eight weeks i have been nauseous every single day for eight weeks i've been i wake up i'm nauseous i go to bed i'm nauseous like it hits me like every day all day um luckily for me i didn't vomit every day but i was sick every single day another thing that another thing that i didn't mention as well because i was saying that nothing else i didn't have any other pregnancy symptom another pregnancy symptom that i had was and they should, should have told me that i was pregnant a long time ago I remember I, I normally have insomnia I have really bad insomnia this is prior to my pregnancy obviously and um, I remember one day that around the first time when I found out I was pregnant I just this is before I found that I was pregnant actually like a, I want to say a few days before I was just sitting down and I normally can watch TV all night up until like 4 in the morning and I think it was like almost 9 o'clock at night I want to say it's like 8 30 and I, my body said to me, I literally had a conversation with my body. And my body said to me, hey, you want to go lay down in the bed and go sleep? And I was just like, well, maybe I could try, but I probably won't fall asleep. And my body was like, yeah, let's just try. <laughs> you guys, when I tell you, I was out, like I was out cold. I've never slept like that ever. Like just lay down and just go straight to sleep. I love that about pregnancy the most just because I have really bad insomnia. What I didn't realize was how tired I was going to be because I didn't just sleep at night. I would sleep in the day. I would be tired um, in the mornings. I'd be, if I'm doing something, folding clothes, whatever it is, cleaning or something, I would literally have to stop, lay down and like take a nap in order to do anything that I had to do. Like I had to incorporate a nap before anything that I wanted to do. And still after that, after that, I was sick. At eight weeks, I had a lot of food aversions and I know a lot of people be like, ooh, maybe cravings. No, I didn't have cravings or any of those things. I did have, and um, I wanted to be, very transparent with this but I had another sign that tell me that probably I probably was pregnant I had a lot of discharge um, just very like clear when I would wipe it was clear like it was clear and grimy and sometimes I still have that every now and again um, during pregnancy so there was that another thing that I had and probably will still have I'm not sure yet is constipation because I have to try to make sure I'm eating a lot of vegetables and prunes and stuff like that because constipation is one of those things that I've had. In my first trimester, I think I want to say at nine weeks as well, was um, the first time that I had bleeding. And I think that's when I did have the, the I was literally on this floor when I was hyperventilating and literally almost killed myself and you know our baby um so it was a sunday so we made an appointment for monday to go into the doctor and we went in and our baby was so good that our baby was doing like waving doing like back flips and it was perfectly fine i'm just saying that to say if you have things like that happen, definitely, definitely don't panic because not saying that you don't need to go to your doctor because you do, you need to go to your doctor no matter what because you don't know what could be. But um, I panicked for like really no reason because our baby was perfectly, perfectly fine. I got home and I was still spotting a little because it was on and off and I was still spotting. I want to say for the next two days, I was still spotting. So in total, I want to say about three days, I was spotting. 
and now I don't, of course I don't spot um, anymore, but that was scary. And they said that sometimes that happened, you know, it could be either, you know, miscarriage, it could just be hormonal spotting, which I think that I had. Um, so yeah, those were a few things that just happened only in my first trimester alone. So that's something to think about. Um, other than that, thankfully I have an amazing partner because I was, I'm, it's, it's different when you're treated like, it's different when you're treated so nicely during pregnancy. I have an amazing partner. I have great friends, great, uh, an amazing family. Like I couldn't ask for a better time. And it's all, that's what I said, it's all about timing. I couldn't ask for a better time um to be pregnant right now to be pregnant and there's everyone's just so happy for me because they could see my happiness and like my you know my excitement to be a mom because i'm gonna be a mom <sighs> i'm so excited i'm really scared about labor but i'm really excited anyway um so that's it i want to say that the first trimester is is great and it's not so great because you, you know, there's a hurdle and you're just trying to get past it. I have so much respect for people who have jobs and like are doing, are pregnant, who can do, if you do basically anything other than be a stay home mom, and even that's hard, Lord, if you do anything, just if you exist and you had gone through a pregnancy, I really respect you because it is one of the hardest things that I'm like currently doing in my life. If you don't follow me on Instagram, follow me because I announced that I'm having a baby girl. I'm having a little mini me. She's going to be as mini as me. <laughs> She's gonna be you know, a little small person. And yeah, this is her right now she doesn't look she doesn't look too pregnant in the front but on the side your girl is growing yeah um my due date is november so i'm excited like right before thanksgiving which is perfect for me and you know, family's gonna be around. You know, my boyfriend's family's gonna be around. Like, it's gonna be. I'm gonna be so. I'm just, like, I'm really so. I don't know why I'm so excited. I'm so excited, you guys. And yeah, I'm having a little girl, and um, I'm excited to share that with you guys. And if you want to see more on my channel, like, because I'm gonna be doing. Hopefully, we're gonna do the nursery. Um, not anytime soon, but like getting everything together for that, making sure that everything's up that guest room and making sure that it's perfect. So I'm gonna film the whole process. I'm gonna do all of that. I think I want the, the room to be more neutral. I'm talking too much. When the time comes, I will talk to you guys through all of that. But we have a baby room that's coming, a nursery. We wanna do that. And um, it's just a bunch of stuff. So thank you guys so much for watching. Subscribe, it's free, hit the notification bell. Hit the like video, hit the like button if you like this video. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye my loves, have a great day.